I'm absolutely 100% pro-choice. As the mother of three daughters, I know that my daughters, uh, my friends, and all women are uniquely qualified to make their own choices about their reproductive health. I can't imagine government presuming to dictate to women what choices they should make about their futures or about their own bodies. It's as simple as that. In my first session in the Oregon legislature, I got to serve on the committee that moved contraceptive equity to the House floor. It was a fight that took 16 years to require insurance companies to cover prescription contraceptives or birth control as they did every other prescription. This is a basic healthcare issue for women, but it's also an economic justice issue for women. Women need to be able to make choices about their family timing and family size in order to uh, plan smart and safe economic futures for themselves. I've long been an advocate for the rights of survivors of uh, sexual violence. When a woman has survived a sexual assault, it's important that she have a comprehensive medical examination that can help her seek justice, but it's also important that she get the medical care she needs. That always has to include the option of access to emergency contraception. It is unconscionable that any institution or person would prevent an individual who has recently been victimized from accessing uh, emergency contraception.